Dienstag ist Dilemma Tag. In today's episode of Tuesday is Dilemma Day, I'll have yet another spoiler from the new set Showdown Four Lights for You. So, let's have a look. What have we got here? It's only the current world champion deck with eight personnel that you might find in play on your second turn or so. So, let's have a look. We send the Obeyeth over to Automated Repair Station and we attempt with everything we've got and find the dreaded Barber Pole. That means it's already time for today's spoiler. So, let's have a look. It is a Space Planet Dilemma with the Star Trek The Next Generation property logo. Title is Close the Door! Exclamation mark. Law reads, A delicate stellar cartography experiment was ruined by Jean-Luc Picard when he opened the door at 3 o'clock in the morning to find out why he couldn't get his Earl Grey. And the game text is, To get past requires science and stellar cartography. Nullify by discarding a doorway type card from hand. Okay, let's have a look. Science we find on her, and Stellar Cartography is actually present, it's on Herbert, so we get past without having to discard a doorway from hand. So, next one is a fast ship would be nice. It would, we don't have an empty ship here, so our opponent gets to kill somebody, they go for Herbert, and then this is done as well. And the final dilemma is from Voyager, its navigational hazards requires stellar cartography and two navigation. So a typical setup of a wall dilemma, then a killer that takes out one of the skills we needed to beat the initial wall, and then a second wall afterwards that requires that skill again. Now this one goes for stellar cartography, which is one of the rarer skills in the game. So is this new dilemma, close the door, a good one? Well. As much as it pains me to say, I'm not a huge fan here. Mostly because I think it's a missed opportunity. But let's start with the positives here. Stellar cartography is really one of the rarer scientific skills in the game. If you look at the top decks from the big events this year, the Continental Championships, Worlds, you'll notice that on the whole, physics and navigation and astrophysics are usually found in higher quantities in the decks, because there is some actual use for these, ca uh, for these skills. Stellar Cartography, on the other hand, has been almost entirely useless in the game and there are only a handful of nice missions that require it. For example, Evade Borg Vessel, which is really great. But on the whole, Stellar Cartography isn't that useful in the game. When it comes to dilemma busting, apart from navigational hazards, there isn't actually a single dilemma that requires it to get past. So... In the pool of fantastic space dilemmas that we have, would you really run this one? Most people don't. And while it's a good thing that now we have several dilemmas that require this rare stellar cartography skill, close the door, navigational hazards, and yesterday's, uh, what's it called, dark matter pockets, which I really like. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really nice that we have uh, a set of three stellar cartography walls, so we can cover six missions uh, with it. but I still don't think that's enough to to really change up the meta. Why? Because they all require just a single instance. And even though that skill is rare, in my opinion, that's not enough to really change it. We got Astrometrix Labs recently. Let me have a look if I can find it. Nope, not here. This one, this is a really nice card, but probably not enough on its own to make the law cartography more relevant. And this set could have done that actually. Compare it to a different card. Um, it must be somewhere here. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Quantum Leap, one of the most popular dilemmas. And this one requires archaeology. Now, archaeology was in a similar situation. It was pretty much irrelevant for the game for a very long time. It was used in a few fringe mechanics, maybe added some flavor to cards, but as for actual gameplay, you could safely ignore it. Then, in 2017, I think it was, we got Quantum Leap. Now, this is a great wall. It requires two instances of archaeology, and it eliminates an officer from the attempt before you even get to check the wall requirements. And what happens? Suddenly you see people running a lot more archaeology personnel. In fact, guys like uh, Vanderberg 
and Corvec have made millions beating those quantum leaps over the last couple of years. And I'm convinced that this dilemma alone has been responsible for a change up in the personal selection of, of many decks. And I think this set here could have done the same for this other red-headed stepchild of skills. If only this dilemma had been given some extra spice, maybe simply upping the stellar cartography requirements to two instances, I think that could have been really great. As it is, I feel it's a rather weak wall dilemma, not quite as bad as Premier's you need one computer skill to get past, but not magnitudes better either. It has no filter effect, no kill, no nothing, and it can even be outright nullified by pitching a doorway from hand. So this could have been a lot better, but here's an idea. How about a future card that boosts this one, similar to the Shades of Grey events that have made a lot of the premiered dilemmas actually playable. And if we had something like that, that either ups the requirements of the stellar cartography related dilemmas or puts a different effect on it, I think that could be really interesting. What do you think? Would, be this, we, would this be the way to go? Do you think the card is fine as it is? Because not every dilemma needs to be great. As always, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. And I think I'll go find a can of Stella somewhere. Expand your power in the universe.